Right, hello guys. This is a tutorial on doing a basic, um, a basic background design. Right, so this is going to be very, very basic. So here I am, start off with my transparent layer. I told you the image side it is 2,000 pixels by 1,500, and the resolution is 300. So I've made a really, really top-notch resolution. So first thing I'm going to do is fill it all in with pink. Oops. Well, no. The first thing I'm going to do is create a new layer. The second thing I'm going to do is fill it in all pink. Alright, so then I'm going to go straight into my blend options and stick a gradient overlay on it. Alright, so now I want the pink and I want it to go to a slightly darker pink. Alright, there we go. That looks fairly nice. So what I did there was I used the eyedropper tool which basically comes up automatically whenever you're doing color selection. So as you can see I've opened the color palette by double clicking here and it's brought up this color selection. So then I used that which I dropped me to exactly this color that was on there that was the start of my background and I pretty much just made it a bit darker. So you can kind of see that it is blending here. So the next thing I'm going to do is just add some brushes to it. So I'll create a new layer set my color to white, use my brush tool and I will use some abstract brushes I think let's see what I get out of here hmm. must have something a bit more exciting in there somewhere how do these look? Hmm. they look quite nice I guess if I increase the size enough, yeah there we go, that looks fairly nice so I've got, I can bring in some others, mm, what's in base here, there we go, these, these add some nice these wispy bits to it, right, alright, yeah, that doesn't look too bad actually, see, you can, you can just kind of jot some brushes on here, and it'll kind of add to the effect, just experiment, and you can always remove the layer if you don't like what you've added, so, not the end of the world. Right. So you've got your layer tool here. Now, a useful thing, and a thing that I quite like to do, is you can place some kind of overlay. So there we go. See, the overlay just simply kind of, it kind of merges it in with the background slightly. So as you can see here, it's merged it in to the background and kind of added a bit of a pink tone to it essentially it's basically gone see through but because of the white it's gone slightly differently so you so some quite nice things can be done with these to be honest well see is that a multiplier done absolutely nothing but that sometimes it will it just depends on the circumstance so I can duplicate that have another overlay and I can change this to maybe a vivid light or a pin light difference see it it will create something a bit different, but I think I'll stick with my. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I think I will stick with my overlay there. All right, so that that is a very simple background, and it looks quite nice. So I'm going to be making some changes to this in a little bit, but that was just a very, very, very simple background tool tutorial. I hope it was useful. And I will speak to you guys soon.